Hello everyone, George here, and as you can see, we are back on F1 Clash, as always, to play the qualifying round of the Mercedes F1 Team Series event. Um, this video was supposed to be for yesterday, so these are the Q1 qualifying sessions. We made it through uh, by using Lewis Hamilton at level 4 with the 10% buff on his stats, alongside with Max Verstappen at level 4 as well. As for my setup, it's basically still the same. We don't have any parts uh, getting a 10% uh, buff for their stats. So we entered the Grand Prix. I have already played my first two races, 59 points. Uh, wet races are so good for qualifying uh, when it comes to Hamilton. Unfortunately, uh, we are getting like around 18 to 20th uh, on the grid with uh, level 4 Max Verstappen, but it's all good. So, we still have two more races. Let's carry on and yeah, let's just get qualified. Race 3 is going to be around Hungaro Ring. Uh, this is a very good track, by the way. Uh, it's going to be a full uh, dry race. Uh, this, this is an 8 laps uh, track, so uh, first of all, you can go for like uh, two different strategies. You can see here, Lewis is qualified in P13, Max in P21, which is uh, obviously not the best result, but we are here facing a stronger rival than us. So let's just use tune in here for Hamilton as we are uh, finished with this uh, boost. We only have one remaining. Let's use the gin for uh, Max. I'm gonna be going for a one-stop strategy. Uh, we're gonna start on the soft compound go for four laps, pit for a new set of mediums, and from there, push to finish. Uh, probably uh, the best strategy for, for Max at the moment is going for three laps, but I'm just gonna stick with uh, four laps and then um, move on from there and boost to finish. And the reason why uh, I'm thinking of going for three laps with Max is because, first of all, he's in the back of the grid, and second, uh, if we go for like three laps on the soft compound and five laps after that on the hard compound because uh, we need to boost a lot. But around here, going for a very early undercut can be a great benefit for you, especially that, uh, first of all, overtaking zones uh, are like low. You cannot uh, overtake easily here except on... Uh, turn one, turn two, and the start-finish uh, straight. Sometimes you can overtake here at this straight, at this straight, but uh, most of the time AIs are gonna defend uh, aggressively against you. And for this weekend, to be honest, I'm not expecting uh, great placements. Uh, first of all, uh, because we do have a team series event, so two drivers are getting a 10% buff. Uh, most of the players, most of the big players uh, do uh, use Hamilton and Russell both and with the 10% uh, basically when it comes to grouping uh, you're gonna have a very tough time uh, qualifying especially that I did uh, pass 8.5k flags uh, currently I'm still trying to uh, reach 9.5 or 10k flags hopefully we can be matched against different people. Uh, most of the players uh, have uh, reached this range between let's say 10 to 15, 16K flags. If I can be on like the minimum or the low end of this flags range, I might be getting let's say easier groups than the ones uh, I'm currently matching. Um, we are getting a very tough time, especially in the finals. Um, my first mistake was uh, crossing 8, 8K at least. Uh, this, is, this was my first mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, second of all, I'm just trying to find solutions uh, within the bad situation I'm currently in when it comes to Grand Prix events. Obviously, my levels uh, aren't uh, enough to score uh, 300 plus points at the moment but of course in the upcoming months we're gonna be uh, upgrading our drivers we're gonna be upgrading our setup 
and by then I might be able to um, fight for a top 10 finish. Of course, a podium is out of reach at this stage, at this rate, but uh, I'm going to try and give it everything. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can start getting uh, at least good placements. Uh, Hamilton is up in P9. We're going to uh, be promoted up to P7, probably P6. Uh, Max is currently in P17, and as expected, he's stuck um, behind the rival and behind AI cars. So, so probably um, the best strategy here, if you are starting from the back of the grid, is to go for 3-5, which is a very early undercut. But most of the AI cars will be going for 4 and sometimes 5 laps, which is going to help you um, close that gap to these AI cars. And then once they go to pit, you're going to be able to overtake them. You can see here, because Max is stuck behind all these cars, he is vulnerable to every single AI car who is using the soft compound here. Um, it's our final lap. Lewis is probably going to finish in P7. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to overtake signs here. Yeah, he's finishing in P7. Especially that um, we are here facing a maxed Carlos Sainz. But overall, Lewis is amazing uh, during this uh, qualifying round. Uh, his overtakings are uh, super amazing. Um, level 4 Hamilton with the 10% buff should, should like be acting like a level 6. Um, so for this race, we're getting 27 points, decent score, and we move on to our final race. Race 4 is going to be around Brazil. We do have a slight chance of having a wet race. Um, Brazil is, by the way, uh, it has the same situation as Hungaroring. If you are starting from the back of the grid, uh, there's no point of going for 4-4. Four, four. You have to go for a very early undercut and close that gap to the AI cars in front so that you can overtake them, gain a lot of positions um, once they go to pit. So probably, let's say, uh, three softs and five hards. Uh, when you have like Max Verstappen um, at level uh, four, you can go, you can like, you can use medium compound, but you have to use a boost like Tauros or uh, let's say Rooster. These boosts give a very good amount of tire management, but even with these boosts, you cannot uh, push a lot. So instead, you can go for, uh, let's say, uh, the hard compound. Uh, which allows you to go for like probably six laps and then you can use let's say that fast you can use lumberjack you can use street shark all of these boosts give you uh, a let's say a small amount of tire management and they give you the opportunity to overtake and they are uh, speed boosters uh, basically so uh, we got a perfect start here lewis is up in p9 max is in p17 but uh, yeah, as I said, the strategy I'm going to use here uh, is not the best. Uh, if you're starting midfield or in the top 10, you can go for, let's say, 4-4. 5-3 isn't uh, the best, of course, because the undercut is uh, so OP uh, around here. You can go for the undercut around Zandvoort as well. The undercut uh, works perfectly around Red Bull Ring. All of these are, are like small tracks and uh, you can actually like gain up to three to four seconds by going for an early undercut. So uh, I believe the strategy here is going to work perfectly for Lewis. But as for Max, uh, I think he's going to be stuck behind AI cars. Um, another change I personally think uh, Hot should do is that if AI cars are going to go to pit uh, once, if they are going for a one-stop strategy, um, like Hutch should force AI cars to uh, service during their pit stop. Because simply, uh, even if you are facing an AI as a rival, uh, even if you have like a two to three seconds lead, they can... Uh, overtake you inside the pit lane simply because uh, AI cars, uh, first of all, like 90% of the time, they don't 
service their car, uh, which leads that you're gonna be stuck behind them for like um, two, three laps. And this is the case here. Uh, Max is stuck behind Russell. We had um, a 1.5 seconds, I believe, lead on him. And because we serviced our, our car, uh, we are now stuck behind Russell. And each second we are behind Russell is gonna be a great loss for us. And even if this leads to a breakdown for the AI car in front, it doesn't matter. You are just stuck behind him. You're losing time. You're losing precious points uh, that you can score. Of course, the vice uh, that I'm using for Max isn't the best boost around Brazil. It works perfectly around uh, Red Bull Ring for some reason. But uh, for Brazil, it's not the best. But still it gives you a little bit of speed boost it gives you um, some acceleration and some grip um, this is gonna be a bad race for Max you can see here we are, we are even stuck behind Lewis Hamilton um, and there's literally no way uh, past him so Lewis is already up in P8 uh, this strategy works perfectly as I said if you're starting in the midfield Finally, Max overtakes uh, Lewis Hamilton, but we are in our final lap and there is literally, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here. Uh, even from the outside here, the overtake doesn't seem to work. Uh, probably some things changed uh, during like update 24, but uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's only qualifying session and uh, we are 100% qualified. The thing with uh, grouping is that during Q1, uh, first of all, as expected, Russell got a breakdown. So during Q1, uh, grouping is just random. It depends on the time uh, you registered for your Grand Prix event. But when it comes to Q2, Q3, opening round and finals, uh, all of these groupings are based on, f on like the maximum amount of flags you currently have. So, uh, 29 points, uh, still a decent result, to be honest, not the best, especially that one driver is scoring all of these points and the other is struggling in the back. So, after uh, playing all of our races, uh, we should have around 100, right, it is 115 points, we are currently in P3, uh, we are 100% qualified, I have already checked every single player between uh, these players and yeah things are looking good uh, this is gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one until then stay safe take care and peace